All right, let's get right into drinks, soda, Gatorade, juice, things like that. With this category, the only safe alternative is water and sparkling water. We'll be going into like some of the toxins later this week, but it blows my mind. There's an ingredient in Gatorade right now that's used as a flame retardant in tires and is banned around the world. Yet it's still legal in the United States. Hmm. Soda, like any type of soda, is diet soda, regular soda, highly toxic to neurotypical kids, let alone our sensitive kids, like forget it. Or juice, even organic juice, is full of sugar. It's just not worth it. When a kid gets used to drinking water and that's what they know, then that's what they ask for. My son doesn't ask me for anything except for water now. So, Daddy, I'm thirsty, can I have some water? Yeah, bring water bottles around. So my advice, stay away from all of it. They need water, they need to be hydrated, their cells and brains need to be hydrated, and we need to provide that for them. All right, next thing is cereal. We stay away from cereal altogether at my household. Like when I was growing up, I'd eat an entire box in one day, not, not good. Um, I know if you are big cereal people and that's gonna be a tough one, same thing, that no foods company has an alternative that may be worth trying if you absolutely need to. But best bet for breakfast, like I said, give them what they need in terms of healthy fats and protein, help build up their brain and give them sustained energy. All right, what about snacks? I know most people give goldfish and crackers and things like that as snacks. And then you, you start to eat a little bit differently. The gluten-free pretzels and crackers, like I said, these are junk food and be, should be avoided as much as possible. And for snacks, I've used um, a lot of what's pictured here, we'll walk through them with great success. This isn't everything, but this gives you an idea of there is a ton of stuff out right now that you guys can use as healthier alternatives for snacks. And the coolest thing is though, once you heal the gut and you're eating meals that have fat in them, snacking is not really that big of a deal. Unless you're pushing them like really, really long. I mean, I see kids that eat every couple hours. It's, it's not the case when you get your body in check. All right, first one, almonds, pretty self-explanatory. Organic fruit, apples, slice them up, things like that. Pancakes, that's my two hour pancake recipe. I use these as snacks because in the morning I'm making eggs, I'll make up a thing of pancakes and carry them with me. And if I'm going to a water park or somewhere out and about, we just sit down and we could eat them with our hands. So really easy and a great snack that I use all the time. Put almond butter on it, delicious. Okay, so corn in general is not the greatest. Our body has a hard time digesting it. The majority of it, any type of corn you get, 90 plus percent of it is genetically modified and has pesticides all over it. That said, popcorn is a, is a decent snack if you get organic and it's made with olive oil. So we'll do that as a snack. Um, Grass-fed beef jerky, very important here. I was gonna, I actually had the ingredients up and I was gonna show you guys. A Slim Jim versus like a grass-fed organic beef jerky I mean, it's disgusting. Like you would throw up in your mouth if you saw the ingredient list, if you actually read it. But just know that you can go on Amazon or Thrive or any of those other places online and just buy a grass-fed beef jerky. We did that for a while. And I just tell him, I'm like, hey, buddy, you want a bacon snack? And he's like, yep. So those are really good. Epic bars, which are the ones that are pictured, the nine bars, they have all different things, chicken, turkey, beef, bison, lamb. What you have to do is experiment, find out which one uh, your child likes. There's one, I don't have it pictured here, but there's a band, uh, brand called Bulletproof. They have collagen protein bars that are full of healthy fats and excellent protein. Um, I had one myself today. I think they're delicious. And we have RX bars. The key here, guys, is the little littlest amount of ingredients. On here, you can see it says egg whites, almonds, cashews, dates, no BS. It has the ingredients on the profile, I think that's really important. And if we're going to a party or something like that, I will bring organic corn chips. Like I said, corn's not the best, but it's better than if they're going around like pulling out Ritz crackers and things like that, where they're just gonna have this massive reaction. 
if you get an organic, uh, like tortilla chip, organic oil, it's not too bad. So for snacks or anything like that, simpler the better. 